Sioux Falls City Council has decided to pay for a public health education campaign to help people take steps to protect themselves from COVID-19. On the night meet, Couple Lands Dan Santella looks at how the process was accelerated at tonight's City Council meeting. Good evening, Dan. Good evening, Don. Last Tuesday, the City Council passed an ordinance to spend $100,000 on a campaign. Councilor Janet Brecky talked then about how it's key to have what she called a solid and strong messaging plan on the vaccine. Tonight, the Council accelerated the timeline. Here's how. The ordinance to spend the $100,000 on a campaign was reconsidered tonight, and it also got an update. Councilor Brecky, do you want to introduce that amendment? Yes, thank you, Mayor. The amendment is simply an emergency clause that we've been adding on these ordinances that are that we're utilizing during this crisis and taking advantage of the opportunity to have them become effective immediately. Attending tonight's meeting virtually, Brecky said an error had been made. It was brought to my attention after we passed the ordinance on second reading last week that this, the uh, finance director discovered that we had forgot to put the emergency clause in. And I will take responsibility for that. Now, there doesn't need to be a month-long wait. Adding the emergency cause will allow uh, the administration to spend the money immediately and not have to wait 30 days, which would be very detrimental because they need it right now for the campaign that they're already planning, and they just need to be able to enter in those agreements and make those buys and execute. Tonight, a communications coordinator for the mayor's office told me that they are working out details of the contract with Sioux Falls ad agency Fresh Produce. It's unknown right now how much the contract will receive of the $100,000. Statewide, nearly 40,000 people have received either the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine. According to the State Department of Health's website, more than 7,400 of those have received the recommended two doses. Thanks, Dan.